Hi everyone, thanks so much for being here. My name is Kat and I make houseplant videos here on Good and Planty. If you just happened to absolutely love this video, please consider liking it, commenting, subscribing, or follow me on Instagram. All of these things help me grow my channel like a plant. Here in Philly, fall is here in full swing and winter is on its way. So there are a few things that we as houseplant owners want to keep in mind as we move into the off season for plants. One of the most important factors of ensuring your houseplant's happiness through winter is light because obviously there's going to be less of it. Today we're going to be talking about some general beginner concepts regarding supplemental light aka grow lights. Grow lights can be kind of scary, kind of ugly, and we're here to address and fix all of that. <laughs> so I want to give a huge thank you to today's sponsor, Mother. Mother develops an ecosystem of user-friendly and highly sustainable products, which we love, for home use designed to be self-sufficient and long-lasting. Today we will be using their plant spectrum, which I'm very excited about, and this is a sustainable grow light meant to mimic sunlight, which is very important. <laughs> Now, before we talk about the grow light, let's talk about light in general. As we all know, plants need sunlight and sunlight is a full spectrum light, meaning it covers all the colors in the light spectrum. As fall and winter roll in, there are less hours of sunlight in the day and that impacts your plant's energy and ability to grow. Boo. <laughs> this is one of the reasons why your plants might slow down in growth during these months because even though they're not outside and don't necessarily know what Time of the year it is, they can tell by the sunlight that they're getting. Light that falls within the spectrum that best contributes to plant growth is called photosynthetic active radiation, otherwise known as PAR for short. PAR. The more a light source emits light within that PAR range, the more effective it will be in helping your plants grow. In comes our plant spectrum light right here. Let's unbox this because I have not cracked into it yet. Handy dandy knife. Oh. <laughs> oh, you can even see the camera in there. Cute, whoa. Ooh, ah. All right, so here's the light. It is this very sleek and beautiful simple black bar. Jesus. We have the stand that it's going to rest on because I want this to be a floor light. And then it also comes with plug, adapters, and mounting tools. Now this plant spectrum has a par, remember par, of 92% and has two peaks on the red and blue wavelengths of light. And that helps boost plant growth. Now what is so significant about blue and red light? Let me tell you. Generally speaking, red light's main function for plants is to enhance photosynthesis, love, and promote growth, which results in larger, happier, healthier plants. Blue light, on the other hand, is very effective in chlorophyll production and plant development, which is why a lot of grow lights have either that blue color, that red color, or that purple color when you have both. But this is a very nice, welcoming <laughs> white light. I typically, personally, do not love the blue, purple, red, lights in my home. Now this is an LED light and there are some things that you should know when looking at LED grow lights. One aspect of LED lighting that I recently learned about is the importance of cooling. Literally had no idea how important this was. <laughs> so on top of the LED light chips, there is a layer of phosphor, which is used to tweak the color of the LED light. If the LED chips get too hot, the phosphor level will start to melt and bubble. The light emitted from your grow light will reflect off of these bubbles, therefore creating an even higher heating effect on the chip creating more bubbles and this cycle will continue. And this problem that we're talking about is commonly found in low cost LED plant lights. I have 
a good number of those. So don't feel bad if you have them, but that is what's going on with your uh, light strips most likely. So what do we do about that problem? Certain passive cooling elements like ceramics, copper, or aluminum help this problem. So if you are shopping for grow lights, definitely look for brands or lights that talk about this issue and what they're including in their light to fix it. So for example, Mother's Plant Spectrum here has recycled aluminum in it to help with that issue. So we talked about PAR, we talked about cooling, and now let's talk about longevity and how to make sure that you're getting the most bang for your buck when it comes to grow lights because they can get pricey. To start, as a reference point, the average lifespan of an LED chip is about 50,000 hours. These chips do not last forever, especially if you are giving your plants the 12 to 16 hours of light that they want. So one of the perks of Plant Spectrum is that they designed it to make the LED board replaceable so that you can renew your light for only 20% of the initial grow light cost, which is amazing. This reserves production resources, it reduces waste and it saves you money. So if you are shopping for a grow light, make sure to keep in mind that lights with replaceable parts are a huge, huge bonus. Not only for you, but for the environment is all I'm saying. All right, everyone, just popping in to give you a two week update, two weeks ish update on using this grow light because I want to also include my feedback. Look at her. My plants are so happy over here. They have been growing. Nobody is burnt. So a lot of good stuff is happening. I am super excited about it. I did have the light on the floor over here for a bit, but I kind of like it up there. So that's what we're doing and I love it. Yay. <laughs> so in conclusion, grow lights are one of the easiest ways to provide quality and consistent light to your plants year round. They can be used to make darker spaces of your home more functional for plants, or they can help plants that are near a window thrive year round. So for all of those reasons that we talked about today, I am a big fan of Mother's Plant Spectrum Light and I'm very excited to start using it. If you are also interested in the specific light, some additional perks I will mention are the waterproof design that can withstand high humidity environments like the Ikea cabinets that we are all obsessed with. There are also multiple sizes and ways to mount this light depending on your needs. Again, I'm using this on the floor and I have the longer light option. This light, as I said, is made with an aluminum body and most of the parts can be replaced pretty easily. Again, the LED panel being one of the most important ones. And on top of that, you get a four year warranty. So who doesn't love that? <laughs> so huge thank you to Mother for sponsoring today's video. If you wanna check them out, they will be linked down below in my description box along with the discount code. Just make sure that you claim this coupon code before shopping. You can also check out the Mother app for access to their plant library, tips, and a live chat. And with all that being said, I wanna wish you all a very happy, thriving fall and winter for you and your houseplants. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please like this video, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell, all that good stuff. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.